One of the most important finishing aspects when publishing a website is how you represent your site in a browser's UI. Favicons have been around since the Stone Ages, and along with touch icons, they're used by a lot of browsers for tabs, bookmarks. They can even be used on an iPhone when we add our website to the home screen. When we're prepping our image assets for upload, you can create a 32 by 32 pixel version for your favicon, which will get used in most classic desktop browsers. And you can prep another 256 by 256 pixel version for your touch icon. This touch icon will be used in places like Safari's bookmarks and on mobile devices as well. Webflow will automatically configure the code, but keep in mind that your file name, the file name you use in these image assets, might still be visible in your HTML head. So just be careful not to include anything you might regret there. Once you're done prepping these image assets, you can upload each file, and then when you're done, you can publish your site for the changes to go live. You may have to manually refresh your live site in your browser to see the update. Your favicon and your touch icon are live and ready to go.